There's a shortcut to success with women where you get results now rather than later or potentially never. And there's also a long road to success with women. The long road is where a guy will work on his career, work on his body, so he'll be building muscle and eventually he hopes that women will see him as a great option. Now, of course, it doesn't actually guarantee that the woman will stick with him. Even celebrity men, millionaires and billionaires get dumped or cheated on. And it's funny because many guys have asked me what my thoughts are on Andrew Tate. Right? You may have heard of that guy who essentially goes around saying, you know, I'm an international kickboxer, I'm a kickboxing champion, I'm a multi-millionaire and I fly around in private jets and as a result, I don't have to chase women, women chase me. Guys, be like me. All right? And so many guys have looked at this Andrew Tate guy and thought, wow, you know, I want to be like him. He doesn't have to chase women. He's got all these beautiful women around him. He's flying on private jets. He's rich. I'm going to be like that guy. Yet the reality is that if you look around the world at the percentage of millionaires in capital cities, it's usually between one to 5%. And the majority of those millionaires are people who are over 55 years old and are already married and settled down or they're very old, right? And they've eventually gotten to that point. The chances of a young guy doing what Andrew Tate has done, for example, becoming a champion kickboxer, it's very difficult to become a champion. And there's a lot of effort and discipline and risk that goes into becoming a kickboxing winner like he became. And he then became a millionaire and he's flying around in private jets. The chances of a guy doing that are so slim, but so many guys look at that and they hear guys like that say, just get on your grind, build up your body, make lots of money, and women will come to you. Meanwhile, millions of guys out there are using the shortcut to success with women and they've gotten themselves a girlfriend or a wife even though they're working in a casual job, a part-time job, or a low-level office job, or just some sort of average job or average sort of lifestyle that they're living and they've gotten themselves a girlfriend. Those guys have gotten results with women now rather than hoping that one day if they build themselves up enough, they become wealthy, they become powerful, they build up lots of muscles, they live in an amazing apartment or, or house and they have a sports car and so forth, that that's when women are going to start chasing them and they're going to win at the game of women. Now, the reality is that if a guy does get to that point, sure, lots of women are going to like him. It's going to be a lot easier for him to attract women. However, there is a big problem with that and that is when a guy becomes successful and then tries to get women, he then has to wonder would the woman that he has met actually like him if he didn't have what he has, right? And the answer is almost always no. And then me and you can go to the beach or something, get some food, get drinks. Sounds good. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe at night that. you can come back to my place and watch a movie and see where things go. Let's go. Hop in. Right. Let's not waste any time. Um, what? What's yeah. wrong? Can you open it? Yeah, sorry. I just got a text. You got a text? Yeah, from my husband. Oh, well, not a little dirty, but we can get a car wash if you, don't, if you prefer. Yeah, but... Additionally, if a guy doesn't have much experience or understanding of attraction, and how to handle women and he gets to a point where he becomes successful and then he starts trying to get a girlfriend, he will almost always come across women who want to use him for his money. Right? They'll see him as a five-year project. Sure, I'll get married to that guy and I'll divorce him, I'll take half his stuff. He doesn't know that though because he's not experienced with women and if the woman is attractive, he's overwhelmed with how much attraction he's feeling. He feels excited, he feels like he's won at the game of women He's got himself a girl that looks good, she's pretty, he feels good about it. Meanwhile, she's thinking, yeah, I'll leave him when I feel like it. And he is not in the power position. And during the relationship, she can start putting pressure on him to buy her a bigger ring, buy her this, buy her that, buy her a car, buy her a house, right? If you love me, like, why don't you get me a big ring? I like those big diamonds. So he ends up paying huge money for a massive ring on a woman's finger that doesn't truly love him when if he just used the shortcut to success with women, the woman would have been most likely happy with an average sort of ring when they got engaged because she wants to be with him. She's in love with him. She loves him for him, not his success in life. 
So the shortcut to success with women is to make women feel sparks of sexual attraction for you immediately. As soon as you start interacting with a woman, you can make her feel sparks of sexual attraction based on how confident you are, how charming you are, the humor that you're using. It doesn't mean that you can pick up every woman in the world, but the majority of women will happily get with a guy who isn't successful because the reality is that almost 99% of the adult population out there are not millionaires. So pretty much every woman will get with a guy who's just getting by in life or he's doing okay and they'll pay bills together. They'll save up for a house. They'll put a deposit on the house. They'll start paying it off. They'll save up to go on holidays and so forth. That is the absolute majority of couples out there. All you've got to do is be able to make women feel sparks of sexual attraction for you as soon as you start interacting with them and then build on the woman's attraction as you talk to her. And the thing is, a lot of guys just don't know how to do that when they're talking to a woman in person. They see other guys with a woman and wonder, how did he attract her? What did he say? What have you got to do around a woman to make her want you? I don't get it. So rather than using the shortcut to success with women, which is to make women feel sparks of sexual attraction for you immediately and then build on that and move it forward, many guys just look at women and find them attractive, but then don't talk to them. They don't give themselves a chance. They don't feel like they can actually do it. Or they spend a lot of time on dating apps and they're not getting selected. And they hear all these men out there who are saying that, you know, you need to become successful first and then girls will like you. And they start thinking, well, I need to get to the point where I'm standing in front of a Bentley or a Ferrari. I need to get to the point where I've got all this stuff that I can put on my profile, I can put on my Instagram that will show women I'm successful and, you know, then women are going to pick me because, you know, women are very choosy on dating apps, which is 100% true, right? If you look at the statistics, for example, it's 75% of users on Tinder are men. 24% are women and 1% other, right? And other dating apps, it's like 35, 65 sort of thing. So there are still more men, 65% men. But essentially with dating apps, it's always the case where there are more men trying to get a chance with women than women are trying to get a chance with men. And as a result, women have got all these options and then they start getting pickier and pickier. Whereas when a guy talks to a girl in person, he's not competing with thousands of other options of guys standing there trying to have a conversation with her. It's usually just him and her or a couple of other people in the group. And she is then focused on how he is making her feel. And he ends up being in a relationship with her. He ends up having sex with her. He gets results now by using the shortcut to success with women, which is to make them feel sparks of sexual attraction when you interact with them. So the thing is, you can go through your life as a man for the next 10 or 20 years, depending on how long it takes you to become as successful as you want to be. And the whole time you can be feeling like you're not good enough yet. You don't really deserve to have a pretty girlfriend. You just don't deserve it because you've heard you need to achieve all those things first before you're good enough. You can feel that about yourself or you can just understand the fact that there is a shortcut to success with women and that is to make women feel sexually attracted to you now. You make them feel sexual sparks during a conversation with you. You make them want you and just understand that there are millions of other guys out there that do that and They don't have to become successful first. They are in basic jobs. They are part-time in a job. They're full-time in a low-level paying job. Some of them have a great job, sure, but they are able to make women feel sparks of sexual attraction for them and just move things forward. That's how you become successful with women now. Now, of course, there's nothing wrong with living the sort of lifestyle that Tate has been living where He makes loads of money and flies around on private jets and has loads of women. There's nothing wrong with that. He's allowed to do that if he wants to. It's great. Enjoy it. You know, I enjoyed my choice of women for over 10 years. I was out there being a playboy type of guy, having loads of women, hooking up with women all the time, having multiple girlfriends and so forth. And I was just a regular guy. I wasn't flying around on private jets. And in fact, when I met my perfect girl, who's now my wife, We were renting and we rented for years before we got our own place, right? I didn't have to become successful first in order to be able to get a girl or to be able to get a woman who wants to stay with me. 
Now that's not to say that a man should not become successful or that there's something wrong with becoming successful. It's great for men to strive, to be their best self, to develop, to make an impact and so forth. All of that is great. However, you don't need to do all of that to get yourself a girlfriend. The shortcut to success with women is to make them feel sexually attracted to you now as you talk to them during an interaction. When you know how to do that, you can then start having sex or you can get yourself a girlfriend. You can do that now. You do not need to achieve anything else in life right now in order to get laid or get a girlfriend. You can have that now. Just like any other guy out there who uses the shortcut to success with women, who makes women feel sexually attracted to him now, not oh, you know, like me in 10 years when I'm more successful. No, get her to like you right now. And if you want to learn exactly what I said when I was picking up women, what I did and what allowed me to get laid and get a girlfriend so easily so many times and enjoy my choice of women for over 10 years before I settle down, then I recommend that you read my ebook, The Flow, or listen to the audiobook. The Flow is the easiest way to get laid or get a girlfriend because you start off by making the woman feel sexually attracted to you by what you're saying and how you're coming across and you build on her feelings of sexual attraction and she then wants you and you begin to connect and you take things to the next level such as getting a phone number, kissing her, having sex that night or arranging a date and kissing her or having sex with her on the first date or if you want to wait, you can do it on the second date or longer. Essentially, the flow is how to go from one step to the next with a woman. You flow from one step to the next, and it's super easy. Any guy can do it. Once you understand how to make women feel sexually attracted to you and go from one step to the next, you unlock that area of life and you can just make women feel attracted. And you might want to get a girlfriend right now, or you might want to enjoy your choice of women for a while. Whatever you want to do, you can do that by starting off an interaction by making a woman feel sexually attracted to you. It's very easy to do. You don't have to go out there and become super successful in life and spend the next 10 or 20 years trying to become a quote unquote high value man to hopefully make women want you. You can make women want you right now.